Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make a Shopify store with dBeautifier. So let's just begin. So as you can see that we are inside the dashboard of our Shopify store and this is how our store is looking currently. So how can we use the dBeautifier? So let's go to the Google and from here we have to search for the dBeautifier. Okay. And let's click on the dBeautifier.com here. And from here, we will actually use the trial version. So let's click on the start your free trial now. And from here, you have to add up your details here. And let's just write down the password. Okay, so here I just have to paste the domain name of my store. So I simply go back to my store. And as you can see here, let's just copy this. And let's just paste our store domain here. And create my account. Okay, so now I have to go to my Gmail account to verify this. So let's just click on the verify email address here and this will actually verify our email on the dbeautify. Okay, so as you can see that I'm actually using the trial version, but if you want to upgrade, you will simply click on the upgrade here and you will be able to see the different plans here. So we have the free plan, we have the growth plan and the pro and the enterprise plan. Right now, I'm not actually interested in any plan here. So let's go into the download theme. And from here, I'll simply download the theme. So let's click on the download. And this would actually download our theme in the zip format. Okay, so as you can see that our theme is downloaded. So now what we need to do, we simply go back into our store. And from here, as you can see that I am inside the themes here. So I'll simply add the theme here. And in the theme, I would upload the zip file. And we have to add the zip file that we have downloaded right now. Okay, so we have this uh, zip file of our theme. So let's click here and add this and upload this file. This may take few minutes to upload the file. It actually depends on the speed of your internet. Okay, so the theme is uploaded. So now it is actually installing the theme. So we just have to wait for this again. So the theme is successfully installed. So we can simply publish this from here. So click on the publish and click on the publish again. Okay, so now theme is actually published. So now I just simply click on the three dots here and from here we'll simply preview our theme. So this is how our Shopify store is looking. So now we'll simply go back to our dashboard and from here now we will learn to customize the theme. So let's click on the customize. Okay, so from here I can actually customize our dBeautify theme. Okay, so we have these uh, sections here as you can see here. We have this product bullet points, we have the card goals, we have the card upsets and in a similar way we also have the other sections here. So if I wanted to add the new section, I would simply add the new section from here. So click on the new section and you will be able to see that we have the featured product and we have the newsletter, blog post, collected list and the custom HTML and we also have the other options that we can explore. So right now I just simply click on the featured product here. And this would actually add the feature product section to our website. So this is how you can add this. And from here, if I just click this, you can actually customize this. So the first option is to show on the desktop. Yes, I want to show this on the desktop and in the mobile phone. Yes. And from here, we can select the product. So right now in our store, we actually have the four different products. So I simply go with the example t-shirt select this and in the section style we have the blank background so if you want to add the border top you can add the border top so i would just keep the value like this so in the product page we actually have the show vendor so if you want to show the vendor you simply uh, check on this and from here you will be able to see the name of the vendor and we also have the show product type so if i just disable this you won't be able to see the shirts here again so in the similar way, you can show the SKU, you can, you can enable the large product type and we have the product text. So if you want to show the text, you would keep the value like this. But if you don't want to show the text, you would simply uncheck this and it would disappear the text as you can see here. And we have the sharing icon, we have the product collection and we have the full detail link. Uh, so you can also mess up with these values here. And here we have the position of the title rating and the price in the mobile. So in the mobile, all of these things would actually position itself below the image. So we have this uh, carousel fading effect. So we also have the image zoom on the click and we have the zoom tab. So we also have the other options that you can explore by yourself here. And we also have the theme settings. And in the theme settings, we have this product tab position. So it is actually the under add to cart button. Uh, so you can change the value from here. And we also have the sales tab that is the fixed amount. So it can be the percentage as well. 
and we also have the icon style that is outlined right now so you can change the value of the icon style from here and you can actually select your review app from here and we also have these other options that you can explore by yourself as you can see here so let's just close this and if you wanted to add the custom CSS you can simply do it from here so I'll simply go back and I will try to add the new section here that will be the featured collection here all right so we have added the featured collection so in the featured collection I can actually add my products here okay so as you can see here we have this heading or the featured collection you can change the heading and we also have this subheading and we have the section style that is the blank background so we have this collection so if I click here so in the collection we haven't really created the collection here so I'll simply go with the home page and it will only have a single product here that we have added here all right so let's select this so I actually have to remove this because I won't be able to show you the grid properties here okay so in the grid I can actually change the number of the rows and I can actually change the product per row so if I click here uh, to the three products it will only show the three products here so you can simply play with these values here and after that we have the footer so in the footer we actually have the view all button and you can change the label of the button here we have the carousel option and the button style and after that we have the theme settings and the custom CSS so let's just go back and now I will actually like to add the image with the text here so from here I can actually change the text here so as you can see this uh, we have this heading so I can simply change the text here and I can change the description here and we have the button style we have the button label and if you want to change the alignment of the text you can simply do it from here we have the image alignment that is left right now and if you want to add the image you can simply select the image if you have the image but if you want to explore the free images you will simply click here and from here we can actually go with any category here so I will go in the main session and from here I would actually select this image and you will be able to see the image here so we can also add the link to our image okay so this is how you can customize the image with the text here and after that I would actually like to add the slideshow here and as you can see that we don't have any content in our slideshow so I will simply add the slide here and as you can see we have this slide show here so if I go into the slide so you can see that we have the block name and we have this image and the overlay so if you want to change the background image I will simply go into the free images and main fashions and I will simply choose this image here and select this image and you will be able to see our background image here and if you want to set the different background image for the mobile you can simply select it from here and we have this slide link we have this background video if you want to add the background video and after that we have the heading of our slide show so if you want to change the heading you simply write down new heading and this is how you can change the heading and you can also change this paragraph here if you wanted to and we have this positioning of our uh, text here and we have this custom font and if you want to change the font you can simply do it from here and if you want to style the button uh, we can do it from here as well okay so this is how you can customize the slide show so let's just go back and if I wanted to add new slide here I can simply do it from here so now let's just add the new section and this would be the last section of our website so in the last I would actually like to add the pricing table and this is how we can add the pricing table so as you can see that we have these three plans so if you want to add the new plan you can simply do it from here so let's click on the plan here and from here you can actually customize the plan so we have the image we have the icon the title description price and you can also export these other properties here all right so now we simply go into the theme settings so in the theme settings we have the advanced setting we have the setting of the card and we have the colors if you want to change the colors of the theme you can simply do it from here and we have this custom style of the script we have this favicon so we have this integration and after that we have the social media uh, typography and we have this debutify free add-ons so if you wanted to add the announcement bar you simply check here and we also have the breadcrumbs and we have the card bubble and the free add-ons so let's just check on the standard add-ons and in the standard add-ons we have this different kind of the add-ons that we can select so right now as you can see this we have this instagram feed so if i want to disable this i would just simply uncheck this and this would actually remove our instagram feed from our uh, store
okay so we have removed our instagram feed from here so in a similar way you can add or delete the add-ons from here in the settings so let's close these standard add-ons and after that we also have this other option that you can explore by yourself and in the last we have the app embeds so if you just wanted to embed the app in our store you can simply do it from here all right so uh save our theme here and now i will just simply click on this three dot icon and from here i would actually like to view my store so let's click on the view and from here you will be able to see our shopify store with the deep beautify theme okay so as you can see the customization that we have done earlier so we have this uh, product page a single product page and we have this featured collection we have this image with the text and after that we have the slide show and in the end we have this price table okay so this is how we can use the deep beautify theme with our shopify store and this is how you can customize this and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel